So everybody, it's Simon here. Welcome to Safran, a new playthrough game. Play thing that I'm doing when you get this a new video. See I'm coming together. This trailer for the Kyle Shin Hero. I'm going to let this slide out. We growl at the scorching sun. Then, shimmers of dust. Breathing ashes. They came from nowhere. Chief from Mortal Kombat. They left us. More and said being younger. Mirage for Honor, Year 5, Season 2. Interesting. Okay, obviously, as you can tell, I'm new to For Honor. I've heard of it. Never thought I would be the state of the game that I want to be play more than Kyle Shin's. His outlook lined up with him. The name is very interesting. Got more double farm in the case of its lore. Watching different videos to get more into it. Get to see how it's all like. First time playing it. Hope you guys will enjoy it. And more in depth with the case of the game. It's going good. Got hour before I'm going to cover some other stuff. Hope these old spots are okay so matter where we're going to be doing things. You know? yourself connect connect before playing okay guys finally back after doing the tutorial and looking over some things some of the different cases for why I can't do other stuff is because of the fact that one my Ferrano wasn't fully done now it is things are all better set and match here got a new set from Mike we set other things all around recording this after the day I originally put the tutorial all set and match everything involved thing the game I think I'm gonna be all cool. Not type me in the case of the latency and this uh, like friend stuff, but the friends I do have as you see in play this game. How about I can make new friends over it and I can make more emblems? I think I might do that depending on the form of the case here. Um, my characters here, Tiandi Shaolin. Cool little Shaolin. I think I'm you know, saying his name is right. I mean, obviously, Shaolin is Shaolin. I obviously know how to fucking say that, but I don't know if that's Tiandi, Tiandi, and then I think it's Tiandi, Nuxia. I don't know if it's Uxia. I'm not trying to be racist. <laughs> I don't know. And that's not a case of being racist. I don't know how to call any their name. Might need to hear it or maybe get better form of case of speculation on it on how to actually say it by other people because I don't know if anybody's compound with some of the other cases these characters' names. But I don't think it's super hard. I'm gonna go Nuxia, Tiandi, obviously, case evolving the monk. If you Shaolin, Shaolin, there shouldn't be a different form of different type. You call me a monk in the game, call him Shaolin and make it fucking hard, you know? Maybe the character's real name is hard, I don't know. If in the form of how things are like. Let me dodge in more different things. Obviously, you guys can see, I'm uh, part of the Samurai faction. Can let the run with them. In the words, Corey Kenshin has been doing this since 09. Shout out to Mac Riolo, since he helped me out a lot and coming with knowledge about the game, seeing other things, grinding out, how to do things, say the community, etc. And just grinding all different foreign cases. We got Kyle Shin here, who's been teleporting all across the soul foreign entry for the entire time. Okay, that was cool, not gonna lie. I guess in different form, okay, this is involved the character. He's kind of like Kenshi from Mortal Kombat. I don't know actually in the form of how he plays, but we get more into some of the characters. These are cool, look at some trailers of how things are like. Get more deeply in the case, kind of in the lore. Hope you guys will enjoy more of what I'm gonna be doing. we will be looking over some multiplayer stuff. Hope you guys will go and enjoy. I'm glad I'm able to talk and kind of find all our phone cases, kind of I'm trying to do things. I also got cut. Match sure those are heroes, aka the warriors. And uh, I think when it comes to the state of this game, it'll be more power, whatever, in the case of it being a fighting game. Games, there are fighting games, obviously. A more grand, different state of full blown combat makes it the better quality of skill. This has a great take of skill, but more is very common in case it's coming with my state. I understand then how to come in combat, especially in the Flourish and how you use all colors that game, such a I would say I'm pretty suffice I'm more kind of Street Fighter and others is that this is more grand calling my state of understand than in form of how I like. Yeah I like those games a lot a lot but I'm saying this game for how it's like 
it's good in its own form of case structure, according to how other things are grand, according within the game style and other things come within it, you know what I'm saying? But there's a point. Hold on a second, seven Okay. We have the minion 4v4. Okay, interesting. Alright. And heroes. So here are all the characters. The knights, Vikings, Samurai, and this is the Wu Lin. Interesting. Let's look at all of them. So you got the warden, default baseline knight. Cool. And the female. Or maybe it's a guy that has a long ponytail, but pretty sure this is a female. Cannot see the person's face. Does even have a case of a model? Maybe it does. I'm just very wide now. Oh, in the case of the helmet. Peacekeeper looks like a character from Assassin's Creed. Go here overview. Pretty cool. Centurion Roman. Along with the knights. Pretty sure there's some in depth lore with it. And also just criminal other characters. The Wu and are Chinese based in the group. I feel like they wanted to get in their faction to call me Romans in there. But that's whatever. Then we have Black Prior. Our year three case DLC. Interesting looking gothic knight and griffin. I don't know who this is. Interesting ass weapon. Uh, let's see how he's like. A warmonger. Hmm. Interesting. Seems evil, cunning. And certified terrifying within the case of combat. Has a call like going. I don't know how you even call me that into your armor. You before with that, I got that in your state aesthetic, but I don't know how you come in it with it instead of the metal queen with so you trying to grab stuff and other stuff. You should probably use in this kid's combat, but some style of how it's lined up. It seems very cap. And I don't think that's the best case because, like, I feel like if she wanted to have it be more potent and calling out people, she shouldn't have lighted up with it, like, extending out because that's gonna be a problem. And you also have them saying shark and totems out on the other hand on your sword, holding it by a full blade. So I don't know. I feel like you might cut yourself in how you call me your action, but that's whatever. Cool. Gladiator, Roman gladiator. A mixed class because this guy has a truck. Then would be a Reptunus. Correct me if I'm wrong on the form of the name. I don't know if I'm saying it right with Trident and Net. Aligned with a shield. Seems like a mix of a Thrax. I like it. Cool, cool, cool. Lawbringer. Okay, well, this is a big homie right here. Has this mixed hammer axe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is a halberd? Or maybe it's. Axe hammer, that's for short. Yes, that's a little pike at it. it Seems like this man would be on horseback. I don't know if you can do that with this character. I don't know if characters have their own take extinction of moves. Conqueror. Okay, first of all, your hand the building what is it called again? I forgot it. It's been a while since I thought of it, but yeah, circulation with the chain wrap. You look like a prison. You don't even look like a certain knight. Everybody else looks like base I mean True knights with the case of foundation of their order, possibly. Peacekeeper, assassin, lawbringer, police officers in the way of holding order, guardians, wardens, peacekeepers on right, simple base knights. Centurion coming into order, general, great leader, chieftain, other comments of great high up. I don't know why gladiators here. Obviously, gladiators gonna stay how they're like. A champion's fight to slaves of Rome. This is a case of the Roman Empire in the Roman Republic, or maybe in going to later on the Byzantine Empire. I don't know. Maybe the mercenary gladiators here as well. I don't know. Maybe some in depth lore. Black Prior looks weird, but maybe even the case, you know, this people who are very high up in religious values and want to call a battle into the new sanctum of order, so as principles. Oh, they're carrying up arms? Griffin, I don't know what you are, sir, but at least you seem like you're ready to fight. I don't know what the fuck you are. You don't even seem like you're in the state of being a knight. Maybe you're like a rebel or something, or a knight villain with this gothic, demonic look. But what are you? 
It's a, bit, a spike on the general take of what you're doing. Like, not even just with his little chain blows, that's what it's called. It's a spike ball. But it's in depth for in case the protrusions coming from the shield and other spike pulsing calling it looks. Like, you can see, like, you want a bit of knights. You seem like you're a mercenary. Maybe some more devil or coming together with him. I don't know. It's not like he looks bad, it's that he just, just looks out of it. Alright, Vikings. We got Raider. Oh, this is a big burly dude. Cause probably he doesn't have horns, probably you can add horns. He has a very interesting beard. Long ass ponytail, that seems unnecessary. Alright, they got bones and shit. Okay, well. Berserker. I'm not saying he's actually berserkers with Vikings, but interesting. But she look like she got some anger issues. I like the dreads and everything. Politics and stuff. Highlander. There are these Scottish people. Look at that one dude from Braveheart. Like Irish, maybe both. Interesting ass cape. Ah, well, cool. Jormungandr. Okay, this person is named after the World Serpent. Interesting hammer. Not baseline Warhammer, it's a little bit too short. It's not like it's compound with anything super hardened within the Warhammer. Because Warhammer side card, in any case, a hammer coming to this manufacturing is going to be hidden hard. I'm just saying that within the set, how it's like it's more baseline handle. She's still going to be rocking it. It's not getting twisted. Also, why are you not wearing shoes? She probably a crazy person or something. Shaman. A Viking shaman. Seem like there's some Native American vibes going to this. She seemed like a manufacturer woman, maybe like a forger. A tattoo's interesting state of hair. Alright. Valkyrie. Under the great blessing warriors of Valhalla, Freya and Odin. Like the hair. I do like her. She looks strong, maybe beautiful. I don't know. Interesting shield, though. It's maybe to hook out some weapons. Cool. Far in training. Warlord. This is more big armor, dude. Alright, that shield. Bust it up. Maybe you can upgrade that or something. Can't wait to see how this armor thing work. Macriola talked about. Then, at the same time, I like the bit. Just grip the line with it. Other main look. Interesting way to go and hold it to. Cool looking sword. Looks like a gladius. Same thing with the rumbus tree on. Maybe in depth lore. Okay, well, hold up now. Wait a minute. Okay, this sword isn't bad. And he has pants on. I'm not saying Romans didn't wear pants. But maybe in the state of the game is cold out. Maybe you can actually have your legs showing. Feet. With a gamak to glati. Like the armor. The same metal gauntlet fingers was with the. I can't wait to look into this. This game is fucking fire. It already looks like. Feel me? It's not bad. Like the neat, short, clean hand handles. Looks pretty cool. Interesting state of vitriation on them. Interesting aesthetic. He's not showing his face. His face. Some monsters won't do it. You're out in parades, but it's not like it's not a case of certainty for real. And especially in the case hives, trions, to have face helmets. Because they have normal state helmet, because this is a grand state of helmet, but also comedy with this uh, face. A guy pounding the camera of this trion, this state bear fence. Why wow, did that sound a little bit weird? Base and trion is a case of the preference. It sounds a little bit weird with my phone in case what I'm trying to say. I feel like I just said a little bit too weird. Or maybe just too fast. I'm still shallow so with how I'm calling cases in case it's all I'm trying to say things. But I was saying, I like the duration and form in case of preference for what you're trying to have your state of helm look like. But most of them show their faces, especially Hypes and Cheerions. But he has a face helm in color with it in the case of a mask. Which is not a bad thing, but most time people don't line up with all case parades to represent somebody, and it's not like it's impossible. And then with the Gladius, interesting, big fucking rust. My God, my dude, you are a centurion. You gotta have money. You gotta come be a new Gladius, my boy. But I like it. Good state within the case of how he's handling that, most likely. 
Then within the regular seems like a has a little bit of similar his height to his character. Not super, because obviously the warlord. But if he's a raider, you know, he may he might have armor because he's bulked up in chest. Or any character from the Viking show. And the warlord, here's some case along with him, how he looks. Interesting, interesting. Again with the sword is coming together in case of a goddess look, like the armor's little state of it. Just bulk the war your fill. He's not like the big exaggerated bulk the case with the Raider, but I like that he's bulked and good setting to come with armor. Some like a father figure type of Viking, I don't know. You're doing the ponytail beard and then why is your hair is that hair? Or is that just a state of the helm's aesthetic? Because it's the same thing with Gal, it's not hair, it's from horse hair actually to come in to get their aesthetic. I hope to God that is not your hair. Cause somebody fucking pulls that. Also, that's gonna be hard to put on and put off. What? <laughs> your hair is gonna get cut off depending on the case of the matter of the state. Your helm be compatible with folding leather and form wood. Interesting though. But it's all good. Hold up. Say everything. Shit, that's nice. Okay. So my desk and all of our stuff. We have the samurai, my faction. So everybody else. And we'll have with the main line vanguards and they have their own classes. Let's see that. Warden Vanguard, Assassin, Heavy, Hybrid. Okay. Counterattacker, Sabler. Alright, so we have them take mix ups. They'll go in the same case. Interesting. So we have Vanguard of Samurai Kensei. Like the mask. Interesting mustache. Cool. Nice look. A bunch of wood and armor though. Now I'm not saying Samurai didn't wear wood and armor. But in most cases, the main high state of Samurai were coming with metal armor. I don't know if they'll put that in. I don't know if the Samurais can for anything else in the ground state of it. Because they have wooden armor here. I don't know if wooden sub how in this verse better. But that doesn't make sense. Because they have their own wood. But also a metal stuff. Like a metal helmet. Knights obviously going to have metal. I mean this man is the most armored up out of everybody. He's tallest. Has the best grand state weapon. If we're going by the common realism. And I watched a video about Metatron. I don't know if you got is not who Metatron is, but he is a great educator coming within history, which goes hand in hand with in the case we'd be educating either way. Like I'm saying, we had children coming into history and our state of how things are like in the form of studying social studies, characters, and so they may be about who would be the best warrior and for honor from a realistic case standpoint, a case a weapon grants their skill and coming with armor and lawbringer probably wins i'm gonna look at that video because i haven't but it's cool check them out if you want i was making that clear so it was weird that but i'm gonna keep going with the flow obviously because i'm going to stay no matter what i'm trying to say man line state but here we have a roach you okay, baseline samurai this is a long ass katana granted maybe he fights a horseback too looks like he would be elite on horseback really with that long ass sword Looks leader in general. Looks cool as fuck. And Rauchi says assassin. I, I don't know. I don't know what to say about this. Looks exactly like Ken said. It's more downgraded. It Coming with a bunch of different wood, metal helmet, mask. Look, look like a katana with an actual katana. Like katana from Mortal Kombat. Coming with a katana. But still, Nabushi. Okay, female warrior. Look like the Uno Bogesha. Naganata. Cool. I don't have much to say about the I like her hair. Shigoki. Okay, this is big nigga right here. This is fat nigga. Who the fuck? Okay, you look like an Oni. Cool Kanabo. Look like Oni from Dead by Daylight. He's fat. Oh, he's big bone husky. Big wooden armor. He does not look fast at all. Got a top nut. Man looks like E Honda mixed with Kokuzuna. Alright, well, I think I might like him. Big homie. See here, we got Shinobi. Like Shinobi from the case of assassins and spies. Like Japanese through intelligence. Um, I don't know really 
how to feel about that in the grand state of things. Cool look. I really have to say all than that. Full ninja Naruto shit. My question is, if you have some of these other case weapons where you in the katana, sai, some other stuff, got water spin bomb and grappling gear. Cool bunch of for kunai shurikens. Is it in chain sickle weapons or what? Is it the Kazari Gamma, right? Gotta watch a guy's video talking about a case involving Shinobi. Okay, well, I know that within the case of how this character is in different showcase gameplay, he comes with a lot of different mystical or just big ninja antics. So I'll probably use these chains like Scorpion, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. But interesting nonetheless. I think he looks cool though. Hidokiri, what are you? An axe weapon with big pound rust, goddamn. Well, I didn't think Samurai had axes that big. I don't know if that's made up because some of us not might not even be the case of realism. Like, I didn't even think there's an axe this big to this extent. Like, I didn't think it hold it to that capacity of weight. And then this nigga got the biggest sword of them all. Goddamn, that's a claymore, right? Or maybe not exactly in the case I was like. But I thought it would, like, be right side of her shoulder almost to the point. Like, a little bit back from her neck, but not that exceeding. You look like a monk. Maybe executioner. They have some religious thing. Maybe a young woman with the dolls. I don't get it. I don't know. Then Kyle Shin, like I said before, in case of his look, looks like Kenshi has a hidden sword. And that's it. He looks like he would be at home. Like a house husband. Doesn't even seem like he'd be fighting, but I don't know. Got a scar in his eye. At least in a case of the left here. You know? Aramusha, this man looked like a ronin. It is really hard to say about him. Interesting ass tattoos in the case of his look. Two swords looking at the same case of length. Curse from Ronder is never a samurai or a warrior if in the case of having two swords the same length, but I don't know. Oh, some of these warriors would even be fighting here. Shamans wouldn't be here. This is in Cherry, I wouldn't be working with knights and gliders. Or slaves and wars of the arena, they would not be fighting out here. And then you're a fucking shinobi, you do not lay out into the case of the battlefield. And then we have the Wu Lin, the Chinese warriors. Okay, interesting. They had Tiandi with a Guan. Um, what is it? Yeah, it's D, right? I thought it was a Guandi. But I know that this character, Jing Jun, has a Guan Dao. He looks like the great saint of war to God of War in different correlation history, kind of with this great warrior. The God of War, Guan Yu. He old. I mean, our racial Asian people be spiking to 80 years old in age and still be out here kind of on with the greatest rhythm, greatest adrenaline, greatest fighting power, most grandiose warriors, bro. This motherfucker look like Master Wu from Ninjago. <laughs> Okay, the aesthetic is a great bleed in general. I would like to see this character fight the Centurion. But back to Tiandi. Like a proud warrior. Looks like maybe he would be a good, profound martial artist. He seems pretty cool. The trailer I saw for the Marching Fire. This man is a great leading in general in his own right. Maybe second in command. This dude, he's pretty old. Maybe retired, coming in arms to perfect. How did I say that right? Perfect. Or that should protect. Same with the way how I said that. It's kind of a recurring thing where I kind of say something. It seems a little bit weird within some other form of case how I'm trying to say it. I'm not obviously fucking dumb. Like, I'm still solid with what I'm trying to say. I'm just saying that within this case, probably perfect in battle again. He's searching for something or protect China. You know what I mean? That's what I was trying to say. I'm not saying you guys are going to call me dumb because we all sometimes cannot come we're trying to say some of our grand state of the matter, but I think it's so cool. And Shaolin. Okay, what are you? Interesting staff. Most iconic and ironic weapon for a Shaolin. Never tried Shaolin Temple. Don't know shit about that. I do know Ranton, though. I know he made a video about Marching Fire, though. I'm going to watch it and see what he talks about it because... I didn't care for it because I didn't know that much about For Honor, but now I'm indulging in it, you feel me? 
But when in the case of how he looks, this man has gauntlets, probably to block other attacks. He has his hands with his fists mixed with a full laid out hand. Interesting. Tattoos. Has his little double knots on his head. Looks like Krillin from Dragon Ball Z. Then you have over here with his grill on chain necklace. And then a bunch of other case of armor. Okay. I don't know if he's a Buddhist monk, or so maybe Revelu in the common teachings going in with the Shaolin Temple of Korean Buddhism. Not every Shaolin has to be Buddhist, not every Shaolin is vegan. Maybe in those a lot of grand state coming within most Buddhist beliefs doesn't coming all of them into the mainstay of his life because because you believe in Buddha doesn't come as your god because Buddha did not want you to call me him as a grand state of dynasty factor or in the case of the time when he was alive or come as divine even though he's grand state if his culture going to be some as a guy how nice and beloved and how much peak greatness he come together coming within his religion and the state of how he called great principles and ideals a little bit of history on y'all and i love history like i said a different time boy know something about history like i'm fine when the case what i know in a grand state of different form of history and i know a little bit something about all these factions that come in their culture and how different state things work. Mainly in the state of samurai, Chinese history, case of Vikings, knights, I'm a little bit more getting into. I love fucking Romans, though. Something about the Roman Republic, Empire coming into Byzantine. I got into my teacher back in middle school, bro. Align me with all different types of state history, especially my nigga Augustus. But besides the point. But I get why they wouldn't use no more shot. Outfit and he has headband pretty cool because it's boring. They're monks. They don't wear all this stuff It does not make sense to and I don't think it's super fucking boring. I know that this brings it out I mean, it's a fucking whirlwind and shit. He got a necklace is with bulk chain legs looking like a kuma from Street Fighter Bunch of tattoos. He's looking like a monk from Mortal Kombat Not talking about Luke King or Kung Lao respectively. He kind of looks like Kung Lao. He got tattoos on his face, too. I don't know what that means. I don't know that's an adept war thing, but it's with all the tattoos. I don't I don't get it. But it's golden thing. I don't fucking know. He kinda look he got aesthetic compounded with Did I say it right? Compined it. Compined it. Compined it. That's not in the fucking word, bro. Alright. <clears throat> to recap, combined it. With a bunch of different looks to align with in some Wukong. Not fully in all glorified cases, but he kind of looked like the Monkey King. But rather than see maybe the Monkey King called me to inspiration for him. Maybe he has a baseness to the Monkey King. I wouldn't be surprised, especially how grand he is in combined with an Asian culture. And in case of mythology and the great suffice storytelling in the journey to the West. I really like some Wukong. I mean, he resonates with my favorite characters in all of anime, a legend, peak warrior, Son Goku. What are you, nigga? No, oh, <laughs> I'ma stop. But anyway, like I was saying with some other stuff, even though they don't need to go ahead and use it, it's not bad. I like how it's combed together, combined it. Hopefully, we call you a more better, solid case of monk aesthetic because this is fine. This is not the most grand thing coming with how he generally form a look. You feel me? It's not a big deal. And I'm glad that I'm able to talk about within the case of what I was saying before. Case combined it does not make any consideration so out of when the case of what I was going to be saying. But anyway, Nuxia. Very interesting. Looks like a dancer. The dual swords. Cabalish. Cool. She looks cute. That's what I would say. Zanhu. Long ass sword. Looks like a rival to the Kensei over there. Interesting. Missing hat, looks like Imperial Warrior. Scar on his face. Alright. Got you. Well, that's all the characters. Let me smack my lips. Blah, blah, blah. Arcade. Uh, Marching Fire exclusive. Damn. Arcade. Introducing a new way to play for honor with Arcade. Fighting low online with a friend and randomly generate PvP guests. Your gear, put your skill to the test. And it's a hurry to come with these story as well. There's also the story of my other tried it out. You had battle paths, a bunch of other stuff. Okay, it's fine. I'm gonna play some multiplayer. Hope you guys will enjoy me doing that. I'm gonna see you guys when we get more in depth with it. I'm probably just gonna go and play the main line Vanguard, tell her things I like. I'll see you guys then.
Okay, first match. Okay. The hell? Hmm. That was wrong. Okay. Know how to parry. Watch some other videos. You can block that unless you parry. Technical. Capitation full seven. Victory! Alright, cool. Pop off in all other cases. Cool to see. Round two. Statues look like monks. I don't know what he's saying. 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 I don't know what he's Culture in the case of the lots called the Flourish with my boy Kenser. The faction war is the persistent cross platform conflict between the knights, Vikings, and Samurai. The faction you pledge allegiance to determines who you'll fight for. Why can't you choose a woman? I like to be Chinese. The faction war englobes all multiplayer and bot activities. After each match, you will be awarded troops based on your personal performance. Your troops will be deployed across all of your faction's conflicts after each match. You can also choose to deploy troops manually or plant your war banner on a specific territory. The faction war is divided into battles, campaigns, and seasons. Battles occur every 11 hours, while campaigns last two weeks and seasons last 10 weeks. After each battle, the faction with the most troops on a specific territory controls it. The world map will update and move the different fronts. A portion of the winning faction's troops are left behind on conquered territories. The front defines which map you will play on. A map that was controlled by the knights and is now controlled by the samurai will have many visible changes. At the end of each campaign, okay. players who participated will get a reward depending on the rank of their faction in that campaign. Once the season ends, everyone gets so rewards depending on the rank of their faction. At the end of each season, the faction war is reset and will resume like after an off-season period. The world will forever be impacted by what happened in the previous seasons of For Honor. Cool. Okay, what's happening on the map? So might as well can't pay for Knights 1, 2, Samurai the 2nd. Knights 1, 1, and the 3rd. I went fourth. It's pissed to pay into what's happening in fifth. So I want to say things. Okay. Record in lava. A bunch of different flies coming together here. I don't know. And I wonder how all of these facts can coexist on this possible car so of a continent or kind of an island, wherever it is. I don't know how it aligns as a country. How did the samurai get here? What's happening with the Vikings? Maybe in Scandinavia, is cross point between a land compared to with knights. I know they could be around Scandinavia, but different form of country. I don't know. I'm about to look into this. Fuck it. It's whatever. Samurai, Vikings, knights, and Chinese. A.K. the Wu infection. I mean, China shouldn't be around here. Maybe they came to this place. Makes sense from there. But here's the mode. You have duel. Defend your honor and fight against your opponent in a one versus one. Do better. 
2v2 brawl is like ranked. Team up with an ally and fight against two opponents in a brawl. I'll try all of these. Dominion. Fights it not no. What, what's happening there? Okay. Oh, so it's the same thing going hand in hand of all then your points. So I guess it's the war map. I got the orders. Since you're angry too mad at any game mode. You can buy some of this warrior. I'll try sending these all up. So zones, they mean like capture the flag. Like some other course things. Let me sort along those ones. Tribute. No, it's not what I was trying to do. No. Fight to dominate the battlefield dominion. Reach the some points to break and eliminate the opposing team by killing enemies and controlling objectives. Tribute, secure the offerings and gain the blessing of the gods for you and your team. Slay your enemies' offerings and make sure they don't slay yours. Cool, capture the flag. Actually, there. Deathmatch, fighting pole. This one. Okay, hold on. That sounded a little bit weird. Because if I say fight the opposing, it sounds about to say opponents. You guys still get what I mean, it's just I'm trying to make sure I read it directly. But pretty much from the case of how it's saying, it's saying fight the opposing team in skirmish and elimination modes. Defeat the enemy team by reaching the most points to skirmish or destroy all their heroes and respond elimination mode. Elimination mode just sounds like kill them all. Skirmish sounds like this team deathmatch and the ground is the things. Okay, with this, you can set points, play more banner. Get my troops or stuff. Cool. I don't know what happens when I put a war banner. I don't want to do that unless I secure a point. So we're doing good on this. So let's go ahead and do that, I guess. Like chest out here. Each. Each attacker is defenders of control of a fortress. Rule of action. Attackers must be defended. This case. Random kind of commander. Okay, so it's like siege. Yeah, I can't skip this. Why is somebody talking through this? Okay. Do I want map with this? Okay, what the fuck? That night was on some King Arthur shit. Is that actually maybe King Arthur? I don't fucking know. I'm taking wild guesses here. And a beachy look. I'll look more into a different time, but they gave me a good search on it. I'm going to go from the bottom to the top. Hope you guys will enjoy that when it comes. I'm going to see you guys then. Round one.
Round three. Round two. Round three. Round two. <laughs> 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 
Round three.
Round four. Okay guys, back from the end of all matches. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Yo, me getting to Ferrara playing Kente representing the Samurai running back to the Samurai with some bodies running back to them to solidify the message. You don't fuck with the weebs. <laughs> Besides that, hope y'all enjoyed like I just said before to reiterate. Call me some better skills that we can say. Learn better focus and parry. Almost die there. And did on one of the accounts of the brawls. And all right, I can't wait to go ahead and edit this all out. I think this game is gonna be a keeper. I really think I'm gonna move forward with this game. I don't know if I'll be a Ferrari YouTuber. I think Ferrari is gonna be a place in my heart. I think this game is going to be cool. I don't know. I just think this game is like super unique, super stylistic. I can't wait to do things. I'm excited for this motherfucking story mode. I hope they come in with some motherfucking heat. I'm willing to understand, want to get educated about the lore and see it because it seemed like the lore would be cool and all this shit i'm gonna go and see you guys in the next one now peace out marmy love y'all